the roots of your family are in Kenya. What do you tell to people of African origin to convince them to vote Britain in? Absolutely vote. We live in United Kingdom and if we are living in United Kingdom we need to participate in the democratic system within the United Kingdom. We need to participate, we need to engage ourselves, we need to uh, advance ourselves and uh, get out there and vote so that we can vote for the right mayor and also vote for the right referendum and the right referendum for all of us is to stay in together. But the European Union is uh, giving uh, privileges to uh, citizens who are the European citizens. Our European citizens... In terms of immigration, I mean. In terms of immigration, I think all these myths that we've been hearing from UKIP party is complete nonsense. And because of that, I think that we have to be careful to deduce the difference between what is the myths and what are the facts. And the fact is that United Kingdom is better off in, uh, the, um, in the EU uh, because we are the... We, we make decisions in a round table and if we are able to make decisions in a round table if we are not there it means we cannot be represented equally so i strongly urge every supporter who believes in um, democracy to actually engage themselves read about um, the eu and um, see that um, this is the best thing if you live in united kingdom and in fact even when you look at the percentages of how much money goes out into united kingdom and how the the EU helps in, uh, in other European countries. This is the best stand for all of us. But uh, people are campaigning for Brexit uh, tell uh, the opposite, but uh, just because of uh, Europe, uh, you cannot uh, decide uh, the, the laws, uh, and many laws are, uh, are just an imposition from uh, Brussels. Sadly, the climate issues right now across Europe is anti-immigration and a lot of people are thinking the influence of immigration. Actually, you have to understand that is, this is really um, sadly uh, been brainwashed with all the papers that we read, all the tabloids, people like um, uh, the, the tabloids of migration watch and uh, all the sad tabloids that write anti-immigration and anti-immigration. They sadly brainwash people. So the question is, do you want to believe the newspapers that you you read or do you want to believe the facts and the fact is that the political climate has been sadly um in, uh, sadly uh, been put up with uh, animosity. So the question is, how do we correct our attitudes and ensure that we've got um, better balance and improve security across the world? But in the refugee crisis, uh, Europe has failed. I can't say that uh, the refugee crisis, the re Europe has failed. I think that at the moment there is um, open borders and uh, these open borders are the influx between Turkey and um, uh, the problem that we know that has just happened in Syria. This is the confusion of people saying this, that, that, that. So we need to be careful how we really put up um, this kind of politics because Europe has not failed. People, people die in the, in the sea because of this uh, uh, deal between uh, you and Turkey? Yes, um, sadly, um, we have to understand the problem. Why are people running away? F why are people dying in the sea from coming to uh, Ethiopia, to Calais? Again, we have to look at the inner problems of those countries. And by staying in EU, we are in Commonwealth. So by staying in EU, we are stronger together. So we are able to get good money to keep people into their country of origin. Hence the reason we need to stay. Finally, is Commonwealth a possible alternative to EU? Why not? Absolutely not. It can never replace the EU because Commonwealth is a treaty on its own. That is the African states and the Queen heads the Commonwealth country. So I don't want people to confuse Commonwealth and, and uh, the EU. Uh, but it looks like people are thinking that the replacement to EU is Commonwealth, which is quite wrong, actually. And Commonwealth has a common language. Commonwealth means different countries joining together and this was um, uh, created so in partnership of um, uh, all these African states uh, so that we are able to speak like uh, one voice. So uh, people shouldn't really confuse what Commonwealth is all about and it was actually uh, also made up to help our African nations uh, in order to strengthen our mutual trade agreement and all that. So let's not confuse the two issues. Uh, the Queen is the head of the states um, of the Commonwealth and he's, she is based in the United Kingdom, which is fantastic. She does a beautiful job for us and we need to really appreciate um, the work that she does um, for us 
uh, because she's kept the African nations together.